astronomers have turned their focus on cores of exoplanets around white dwarf stars. They are tuning in to the radio waves they emit. A white dwarf is a remnant of a low-mass star that has died and blown off its outer layers as a planetary nebula. Research led by Dr. Dmitry Barris from the Department of Physics assesses the survivability of planets that orbit stars which have burnt all of their fuel and shed their outer layers, destroying nearby objects and removing the outer layers of planets. The researchers have determined they could detect the cores which result from this destruction and those cores could survive for long enough to be found from Earth. Co-author Professor Alexander Volshan from Pennsylvania State University discovered the first exoplanet confirmed to exist orbiting a pulsar in the 1990s. He did that using a method that detects radio waves emitted from the star. The researchers plan to observe white dwarfs in a similar part of the electromagnetic spectrum in hopes to achieve another breakthrough. The magnetic field between a white dwarf and an orbiting planetary core can form a unipolar inductor circuit, with the core acting as a conductor due to its metallic constituents. Radiation from that circuit is emitted as radio waves, which researchers can then detect with radio telescopes on Earth. The effect can also be detected from Jupiter and its moon, Io, which form a circuit of their own. However, scientists found that planetary cores can survive for over 100 million years and as long as a billion years after being stripped of their outer layers. The researchers say there is a sweet spot for detecting these planetary cores. A core too close to the white dwarf would be destroyed by tidal forces and a core too far away would not be detectable. Also, Dr. Dmitry Veris said that if the magnetic field is too strong, it would push the core into the white dwarf, destroying it. Hence, we should only look for planets around those white dwarfs with weaker magnetic fields at a separation between about three solar radii and the Mercury-Sun distance. Scientists plan to use the results of this work as guidelines for designs of radio searches for planetary cores around white dwarfs. The study might provide a glimpse into our own distant future and how the solar system will eventually evolve. The research appears in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society.